example, Dr. Ibrahim Mohammed Awa, or the Abrey, or say Sagan, or say, so we say this is a good one, the bread and money, the tourism sector. Now, as I said, I'm not to say a sector here, a year, a whole walk, any addition, because they put in the minister, or say that. Ghana is at the center of the world. No other country is at the center of the world. Ghana is a very peaceful nation. Ghana is seen as an investment destination. We have 65 percent of all the forts and castles that are used to enslave trade located in Ghana. That means heritage tourism. African Americans, African diaspora want to have linkages. They always want to go to places where they think they have some historical ties. That's why Ghana is abandoned. 65 percent of forts and castles is building slavery is located in the country. Leverage it, market it, and that will give advantage. Quarter price should put Ghana on the map. But culture is very important for us. Culture is everything. That will link you to the past and present, use a direction to the future. So within that, we have a culture to make it modern, realistic, and then usable for people. So by January, hopefully the culture policy will have done. We will come into the environment of education. Also, what's the development tourism policy? The policy tourism has is not this policy. It's a piece of this of everything put together. What makes it comprehensive, integrated, you know, sustainable policy that will guide us to make our tourism competitive? So we are doing all this to ensure that the tourism as a culture sector is a great field, becomes a more country We should be making four billion dollars beyond 2024. We're on it and creating at least 150,000 jobs every year. That's how to go. It's an area that government is committed and putting all this money. That's why government is supporting Ghana government, spending 350 million Ghana cities over the next two years to reform, modernize our culture, tourism, and artistic sites. Not to let people come, but to have people come in and come in and come and spend the money and getting those who are doing what do. The president, the Nakufado, very much committed to the sector. We don't control the sector. So he wants you and I, let's market our culture, let's market our artistic values, let's market our tourism sites, and make our most preferred destination in Africa, the Ghanaian economy. And two out of every 10 jobs, according to World Bank, is created by this sector. Two out of every 10 jobs are created by tourism as a culture. But as of now, 680,000 people are employed by this sector. That makes it a very very tower sector for to spare economic growth and development. In the seventh age, he said one will come a uh, cost of living. Ghana, the Governor President Kufado, is taking measures to improve the cost of living. The government is not just doing a hands to spare. We are getting IMF, but also have our own homegrown initiatives that we are employing to make sure that. We we'll turn around the economy. We would turn around the economy in due course. All we need is Ghanaian support and patience. Believe us, we will do it. It's not easy. It's been occasioned by many factors, including the war in Ukraine, COVID 19. We have, to, as the president said, to protect lives. To make sure that nobody died needlessly after COVID 19. But trust us, we will fix this economy and get Ghana going. But what people are coming to Ghana? They are not going to benefit, that's why they come. If you are spending uh, one dollar getting seven cities, you are going to get now about ten cities or eleven cities. So they'll come. And they'll bring the dollars to this country. So those coming, they don't have an issue. If I was going to spend a hundred dollars to give me sixty six thousand cities, about six hundred sixty cities, now if I spend one thousand dollars, I'm getting about ten thousand Ghana cities. Before they put this six thousand Ghana cities. So it's, it's new to that benefit. They will come more. But more people are going to come. Yeah. Yeah. Is there? But we are working to fix the economy. We'll do it. We're not going to The president is very committed to fixing this economy and making things come and come again. We'll do it. We need to support the Ghanaians. We'll do it. Museum, we spent 1.5 billion to this to fix the National Museum. And I'm saying that in four months, if I could, about 300,000. So, within a year, to sort it and we can expand and do more. 
Marriage life is not under my ministry. Before I got there, it's at the presidency. It's not under the Minister of Children and Support. 2019, it was moved there. I only went there last year. So marriage life issues are at the presidency. And the Science Museum just engaged a lot of architects to give us new drawings, want to modernize it and make it better. We have a lot of space there, want to modernize it and make the science museum better. We think science and technology is a way for it for us. So we're not abandoning that museum. To we'll fix it, modernize it, and make it functional to support science and technology drive our presence and then to do it. Process to appoint the staff of creative arts agency. It takes while. But we've gone, we've gone and gotten the data clearance, we're waiting for financial clearance for the Ministry of Finance. And that's the most time. So we we'll give them legal status. We have not abandoned creative arts to work on The Green Gardens, uh, my colleague, uh, GTA CEO, answered Green Gardens. The art gallery is also something that the museum's board is working on. We're trying to do one from the science of the world to do that. We don't want to preserve everything that we can. Like I said, we don't know our history, we cannot know the future. So everything can, everything uh, museums, everything artistic, everything culture, we'll preserve it. Sanitation. Thank you, Minister. But we are working together with all other MMDs in the, in the sanitation sector to improve it. We'll work, we've taken note of your concern. The Minister of Sanitation is doing very much under the constraints to fix it. Work together and make sure that we present what well, so affects the impacts on quality and work on it. Of the Green Gardens. I will sign an MOU with them. Uh, work is currently ongoing. There are four areas that we are looking at. One is to have an events grounds. Two, expand, build and expand the washroom facilities there so that visitors who go there will have a very good experience. And then also build a car park, which is almost complete and then also the entry gates both uh, from the Brit Township and also on the um, road going to uh, Mount Paul. Those are the works that are ongoing as part of the first phase. The, the MOU that we signed with the gardens, there are other facilities that have to be put up there. We are looking at the accommodation facility to bring in some strategic partners to the table. So. It is work in progress. Uh, Chalewote, yes, the minister has asked us to engage with the organizers. So I don't know the last time we spoke to the organizer. But last week we had a meeting leading to the Chalewote festival itself. The ministry supported uh, the festival. We worked with AMA, uh, had several stakeholder engagements between AMA, ourselves, and the organizers. One of the issues that keep coming up is the issue of vendors. You have food vendors coming there and also the issue of sanitation on who cleans up the place after the festival. So AMA is uh, an interested party. We are an interested party under the auspices of the ministry and the organizer. But at least we've had a very good conversation and last week we did meet and I know that by the next Chalewote festival things will be different. Uh, December in GH, just to add to what my minister said, uh, the people coming in are also bringing foreign exchange, but we've also made a deliberate plan to spread out the events across the country so that it's not just in Accra. So hopefully you'll see more events in other parts of Ghana. Uh, Thank you for watching Nation One TV. Kindly subscribe for more news updates.